heavyweight division matchup. Good to see this young woman back making the walk to the octagon tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if she gets put on her back here tonight. Her takedown defense, arguably the best in this division. Great balance, solid base, beautiful sprawl, very quick with her feet. And for a lot of women, they spend so much time trying to get her down and fail that they don't have much left offensively when you hit the latter rounds of the fight. Gotta try to outstrike this woman tonight. You're probably not taking her down. This girl has ridiculously impressive lightning fast hand speed. It is one of her best qualities and one of the most terrifying things that you could face inside the octagon. When someone is faster than you, it is such a huge advantage. Man or woman, you are staring at one of the most skilled and talented strikers to ever grace the octagon. And a scary proposition to the rest of the strawweight division because Joanna Yeon Jacek is only getting better now training under American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. This girl has outstanding hand speed, lightning fast punches that come from all angles, and she gets out of the way before you can hit her back. She's one of the most difficult fighters to face in this division. Tonight's tale of the tape. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bethlehem Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist making her professional debut here tonight. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, Asa! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 3 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Asa! Poland, Yorona Yachesha! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down right now. All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Littered across the UFC record books, here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Guillaume Jacek. Four career wins by knockout, but she has broken a lot of fighters inside the octagon. Ask Jessica Penne about the power. Joanna Guillaume Jacek really is decorated and complete a striker as there is on this UFC roster. Lands to the body there. All right, first round is underway now, and you gotta watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fighters in this division, they know what's coming, but as yet, they've been unable to stop it. Let's see how it goes here early on in this one. And she connects there. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. Nice job to get the foot off the canvas and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Yeon Jaichek. Checked. Hook, 
gets home. Oh, nice. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, she moved right into that head kick, Joe. Not a good look for her there at all. I'm not sure how many more of those she can take, quite frankly. She's got to figure some things out here defensively. She lands the head kick. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, big left hook there! Oh! Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Wow! This could be it! Here's a nice inside leg kick. Went for the head kick. Joe, she's just out of range with that right hook. Spinning back fist is there. Inside leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. And the kick lands for her there. Past the two minute mark in round one. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, Sandy! Nice leg kick. Inside leg kick is there for the Muay Thai practitioner, Yeon Jacek. Wow! This could be it right here. Wow! Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Less than a minute to go in the round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, she got back again. This could be it. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh, big right huge hand. right hand! This could be it right here. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Four shots landing on both sides here. Horn right. sound for the end of round one. All right, so there is the horn signaling the end of the round. Both fighters got a lot done in it. Knockdowns on both sides. You don't see that every day in the octagon. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. What an action-packed okay. round. Yes. It looked like it almost ended on relax. multiple okay. occasions. Not a big deal. We've been knocked down before. It's okay. We're going to get back up. We're going to be off. Jenny Andrade to get us going. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Round two here. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Missed the mark. And you do really want, what is it gonna take to break someone like Young Jacek? You can take her down, knock her down, and still fresh as a daisy. Oh, beautiful kick to the body. 
That one hurt. Spinning back fist. Man, that cut has really oh. opened up. Sharp tonight. She has landed some good shots, but more often than not, Joe, she's been one and done. As yet, unable to string together significant combinations, and it's going to take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm's way. Let's see how she chooses to attack here. You know, Jack checks overhand punch to the head, doesn't get there, blocked by the defense. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Nice. Just missing on that uppercut offering. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Yeon Jaichek. Oh, spinning back this lands. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh! Kick to the face! Oh. And she's down one, dropped her! <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Well, she got kicked flush to the body there, Joe, right underneath her oh! hand. This could be it. A big shot to the head. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Wow! This could be it right here. Nice leg kick. Looking for the left hook. Hard spinning back fist. It's a nice back and forth action here. Just out of range with the big right hand. Inside leg kick lands. Visibly limping here. of strikes in this round as she continues to land and pour it on. It's amazing that she has been able to maintain this aggression with her striking throughout this fight. And that's the end of round number two. Wow, full domination this round. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here, another clean shot lands, and another knockdown. 
several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. I want you to go out of the Ariani Celeste doing work as usual. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Wow! This could be it! Misses with the kick. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. And she lands a nice kick. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Constantly a moving target. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. She whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, she missed with that right hand. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. How about that shin? Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Absolutely, Joe, a tremendous kick. And when her career is said and done, this might be the highlight that everybody is talking about as she ends her opponent's night with as many style points as you could want. She catches her flush, full force, full extension. You gotta think she's getting a performance bonus for that one. There it is again. Here it is one more time. Boom! Out cold. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of the third round. We play the winner by So congratulations to Ioana Jacek. She adds to her Hall of Fame legacy yet again tonight. She's just a master of mixed martial arts and making adjustments, using her opponent's weaknesses against them. Doesn't hurt that she might just have the best jab in all of MMA, but another vintage effort out of Ioana Jacek.